going to be a body in heaven and that body is being built on this earth. So that's why Jesus said, I will build my church. That's a word which is tremendously misunderstood. Church is not a building. It's not a denomination. It's a group of people who have been pulled out of the world to come under the headship of Jesus Christ. Church is not just a place where we love one another and care for one another and help one another. It's not a place where we just come to listen to stirring sermons and improve our personal life or our family life. It's a place where we are to built together. We are not initially built together when we come to a fellowship. God wants to build us together. So our goal in all of our churches, CFC churches, is to build the church of Jesus Christ. And that's why we expect everyone to be totally committed to Christ. If you're totally committed to Christ, you will be totally committed to the other members of his body. Example, if this hand of mine is totally committed to the head, to the brain that controls this hand, this hand will be totally committed to every part of this body. If any part of this body is injured, this hand will rush to help that. If one hand is not able to do a work, this hand will do the work of two hands because the other hand is temporarily incapacitated. So that is a body. So we're not like, you know, in the many medical colleges, they have human bodies that are cut up into pieces, hands and legs and noses and ears and all separate. Yeah, we can say they're all parts of a body, but they're not a body. There are two eyes here and there are two ears here and two hands and two legs and a stomach and a heart and a liver and all. Every part of the body is there in that anatomy laboratory, but it's not a body. It cannot function together. And that's not the type of church Jesus is building, where you have your own walk with the Lord and somebody else has their own walk with the Lord and that's a hand and that's an eye and that's a ear and all like pieces of you know, anatomy laboratory. That's not a church. The church is where all these are built together. Like that little booklet I advertised yesterday, you can be a congregation. A congregation is a group of people no different from a movie theater congregation. The only difference is there they are interested in a movie, here they are interested in a message from the Bible. And many churches are congregations. They go there only because there's a good preacher. You go to a movie theater, like many people, I don't go, but if people go to movie theaters uh, to watch a good movie. So people go to church to listen to a good preacher. It's a congregation. When you go to a movie theater, you don't even know the person sitting next to you. And the next day you go to the next time you go to a movie theater, somebody else sitting next to you. So in these mega churches and many churches, people come together, they don't know each other, but they are interested in what's happening up in front, a great preacher, a famous preacher. And they are listening to him and they come there mainly to listen to him. I explained in that little booklet called Congregation, Club and Church, you can read it. A club is where people don't have a connection with the Lord, but, and they're not much interested in what's being preached in the pulpit. It doesn't matter whether it's Ephesians or Philippians or they sort of endure it and probably the sermon is not very interesting, but the people in that church are so loving and caring, this, and the children are so good, and people say, this is a good place for my children to grow up in. Wow, what a nice place. And the children are friendly, the people are friendly. If I want to uh, you know, shift my residence from one place to another, the church people will come and help me, and then I'm sick, the church people will send food to, to my house. What a wonderful place to be in. They don't need any connection with the Lord. They're not interested in the preaching from the pulpit, but it's a wonderful relationship with one another. It's a club. The only thing, they don't come there to play cards. They don't come there to play tennis. They come there to listen to a sermon, but the main thing is they're a wonderful club. And because that relationship is so good and intense, they say, this is a wonderful church. No, it's not. Find out what's the connection with all these people with the head. Pretty much nothing. They, husbands and wives, yell and scream at each other at home and there's unrighteousness in financial matters and all types of things, but it doesn't matter because they care for one another. But a church is where every single person has a connection with the head. They listen to him, they've got a good conscience and they care for one another. But the connection with the head comes first. Like the two arms of the cross, the vertical arm always bigger than the horizontal arm. 
the connection with the head is most important, but without the horizontal arm, there's no cross. There's the horizontal relationship with one another also, but the vertical one is most important. That is a church. That's what we're seeking to build in our churches. We're encouraging each person to have a wonderful vertical relationship with Jesus Christ, with a clear conscience all the time, and also to build fellowship with one another. I'll tell you my experience through 44 years of building churches in many countries. I have seen that sometimes the people I sit with in my hometown of Bangalore in India, people I meet more frequently than all the other Christians I know, I don't have much fellowship with some of them. This is a fact. Even though they sat with me there for 20, 30 years, very little of what we call Christian fellowship. And then at a conference, somebody comes along whom I have not seen for one year and who's living in another place and he comes along for the conference and instantly we have very close fellowship. You know why? Because all that one year he was walking with the Lord there and I've been walking with the Lord here and when we come together we are one because we are both connected to the head even though we didn't see each other. This is fellowship. It doesn't have to be closeness all the time. Why, why do these two hands work together? Is it because they're always holding hands and hanging around together like this? That's a club. You know, you say, I've got to hang around with all the friends here in the church and then we'll be one. No, you will not. That is a human type of oneness. Always these two members of the body always holding together. No, it's this connection of this hand with the head and this connection of this hand with the head that makes them work together. So it's not by my spending a lot of time with one person. This is my, you say, this is my favorite sister. I'd like to meet with her all the time. I go to her home and help her out in various things. Oh, this is my favorite brother. I like to hang out with him all the time. You'll be just part of a club. But instead, if both of you really seek a connection with Christ and say, Lord, I want to walk with you with a good conscience all the time, you'll find a oneness with that other person which is way beyond this hanging around together. A lot of people who hang around together for a long time Sometimes after four or five years, they break up and they never want to talk to each other. I've seen that happen a lot of times, and you've probably seen that too. The best of friends become the best of enemies after a while. Because they're trying to be, they're trying to have a fellowship in a horizontal direction alone. It's the same with a husband and wife. If a husband and wife are to really got to be one with each other, it's not by spending a lot of time together, which is very important. That's the horizontal arm of the cross. It's by their, each of them having a connection with the head where Christ is between them and the cross is between them where they die to themselves, then they become one with each other. And if you and your husband and you and your wife are not becoming more and more one with each other, something's wrong with your marriage. Something is fundamentally wrong. And the reason would be that you're not walking with the Lord in your personal life. Your connection with Christ is shaky. And that's the reason. So 